Many regions of the world suffer untold horrors as a result of armed conflict or other forms of violence that occur within and between societies. During the last year only, the number of locations in which conflict occurred increased by more than 10%. Conflict hotspots like Afghanistan, Yemen, and Syria still have the highest rates of organized violence and death tolls, with a total of nearly 100,000 reported deaths in just 2018. Conflicts pose a major threat to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. They reverse decades of development progress, at the same time reinforcing those very dynamics that led to conflict in the first place. Since last year, on the 16th of May, the United Nations marks the International Day of Living Together in Peace. The resolution adopted by the United Nations General Assembly declaring this observance day defines living together in peace as accepting differences and having the ability to listen to, recognize, respect and appreciate others. It stresses the importance of respect and understanding for religious and cultural diversity throughout the world and of choosing dialogue and negotiation over confrontation and violence. You might be asking yourself, what is the point of having just another day celebrating peace? The same UN General Assembly resolution states that the International Day of Living Together in Peace is a means of regularly mobilizing the efforts of the international community to promote tolerance, inclusion, understanding and solidarity, thereby averting the risk of violence and conflict breakout. It goes hand-in-hand hand with the efforts to reduce all forms of violence and related death rates everywhere by 2030, which is one of the targets of the Sustainable Development Goal number 16 – promote peace, justice and strong institutions. What do you think can help societies live together in peace? Let us know in the comments below and follow our channel for more videos on the topic of International Days currently observed by the United Nations and the Sustainable Development Goals.